I read an article in BBC called The Flip Side of Football, and it's on the poor working conditions for African footballers or African soccer players. And this is something that I've always um, wondered because you don't really get a lot of exposure to African club football. You at times, at least not in the United States, at times you'll see the uh, national size play if they play your national team. And I guess if you have some kind of soccer uh, channel or package, you may be able to see like African Cup of Nations or something like that and maybe high profile friendlies. But you don't have a lot of, at least I don't have a lot of exposure to African club football. The little that I've seen is is it's a little difficult because the quality isn't as um, isn't what I'm used to. You know, watching European football or even uh, major league soccer, MLS, the U.S. Uh, U.S. and Canadian uh, top division. So you also wonder, like, um, because the it doesn't seem to be a direct path from uh, being a, a club football in. Um, most of the top, the top African countries often do not use their um, their locally based players for the national teams. There are exceptions. I think South Africa pretty much depends on their uh, locally based, based players. A lot of North African countries use um, a large number of locally based players. But it seems like the, uh, the real danger men on the team are the guys that are based in Europe. Uh, so it doesn't seem like for most of the African football, it doesn't seem like it's a direct path playing in your local leagues to getting into your national team or getting to the European leagues. Another thing, you don't really see big transfers either from an African club team to a European league. So it's 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 a, so that would be one way for them to actually gain funds because the players often are not paid uh, very much, at least not on average. In any of the leagues in Africa, from north to south, uh, I was kind of surprised when looking at the uh, South African Premier League, and their highest paid players, I think, was making less than thirty thousand dollars a year, which isn't much by European standards or even U.S. standards. So there's a um, there's a huge gap. There's not a lot of money, and it seems like there's not a lot of the working conditions are also poor. People don't really have time off and things like that. Um, they often don't have contracts. So there's a lot of issues. So it's a real great read. I'll put a link to the article below. Just in general, when I post things, often I will have links to um, have greater information so you can actually read articles on that same subject that I've discussed. So I'm going to have the link to the article that I just talked about. It's going to be below. So you can click on that link and read the article in full.